how to keep cool in the summer. Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models and welcome to another video. This is going to be the first video in a series of videos and it's all about tips and tricks. So um, anything absolutely model related, it's going to be quick, it's going to be fast, it's going to be straight to the point, just doing a tip or a trick. So for today's first trick, uh, tip and trick is going to be cleaning your model. So whenever you've got a finished model and it's been sitting on the shelf for probably maybe a couple of years, they do get dusty. So how do we sort of clean them and a couple of tips and tricks on doing that well first off um, I have um, found that this is a very nice brush for coming along and cleaning your models this is a scenery brush by Citadel um, nice big brush sort of you know um, hard-ish bristles um, not hard enough that it's going to scratch your model or anything like that but it's good enough to clean the model what you're also going to want is a airbrush plain and simply just a bit of air and basically what we do is we run along the model with our air on and we just brush along it right and what this is going to do is just going to brush off any sort of dust or even i think i've got a little cobweb down here it's just going to brush that off all right being careful not to press too hard because i mean it is on um plastic landing gear and stuff we don't want to be pressing too hard you can sort of see it actually shaking a bit right now luckily you know dust does travel downwards down with gravity so we haven't got to turn this upside down and sort of do the underside but we do have some um, pylons with weapons and stuff sticking out here so very carefully just giving these a little bit of a brush as well all right and basically you just do that all over the model and you should clean up the dust you can also whack your air pressure right up as well which will also help but what we've also got here is the canopies canopies is what shows up the dust mostly i mean you're probably looking at this potentially not so um dusty but our canopy here hopefully as you can see um we've really got a lot of dust on there it's really gone sort of cloudy so for these i do like to go that little bit extra more to bring it back to a nice um sort of shiny look so what we could start off with is exactly what we've just done just to get started is just brush across with our brush just to get rid of most of the dust um, we can then blast it with an airbrush all right maybe a little bit inside as well just in case all right but what we're going to do just to really bring that to sort of life is getting out some cotton wool buds right and some ipa which i should have just a little pot of this somewhere uh, here we go always keep like a little pot which is just pure ipa um, if you don't want what i'm on about with ipa um, here at genesis models we make our own home brew thinners this home brew thinners um, there's a nice tutorial on the genesis models website how to make it um, one of the main ingredients in making it is ipa um, so you want to get yourself some of that and what we're going to do is just on the end of the cotton wool bird just sort of sort of nicely soak that in some ipa now um, the one thing with doing this is when you sort of rub at it you don't want to be going up and rubbing any of the paintwork because it will um, eat into the paint so you don't want to get too too close you want to be careful when it comes to the edges and everything and we can just clean that up nicely right also when doing this it does depend um, on how you've say done your canopies if you have gone off and dipped your canopies in um, some sort of a gloss sort of enhancer or um, pledge floor cleaner or something like that this will um, eat into that paint uh, that gloss paint and sort of make a big mess so you don't want to be doing this only do this if you have left your canopies bare and actually you can even see on the end of the um, cotton wool bud look at all that dirt that has actually come off of our canopy here that is probably looking at it paint um, because whenever you're sort of spraying in your workshop the 
um, paint particles go up in the air and if you've got your models in your workshop the paint particles come down they fall on your model uh, and that's what we've got here you can actually see it's coming up on um, the cotton wool bud so we're just nicely cleaning that and just all over it again you've got to make sure you don't touch any sort of paint work or you will mush it up and then with a sort of a clean dry side we can sort of finish it off and polish it right and we're all good to sort of actually kind of touch the paintwork now because you know when we're using a a dry cotton wool bud with nothing on it and what this basically will do is get it all sort of nice and shiny again so if we bring our model in you can see the front part of the cockpit just there how um, hazy that is and then we've got our nicely new cleaned up canopy area so just to summarize um, you want to find yourself a nice paintbrush that can basically dust off all your um, the dust on the model with the airbrush to blow it off as well uh, and then things like canopies that are really sort of shiny that really go dull when they get dust on them uh, ipa and a cotton wool bud if you have used like a gloss to seal in your canopy then um, potentially you know just a plain simple cotton wool bud to really sort of aggravate the area and sort of get up any sort of dust you could probably get away maybe just using water but don't use ipa if you've gone down that route so there you have it that is our tips and tricks uh, for today so until next time my name is bobby Walden, this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed